All right, working on Steve's uh, fork jig. So uh, we don't have one, we're missing one more piece there to bolt that down, but uh, this is the fork tube. Fork tube. The, uh, that'll fork, go to the fork. Fork crown. Fork crown. Then fork what are the legs? Fork legs. Ah. So anyway, he's got a dummy axle to go in here. There's another piece of, uh, this piece will go in here basically, and what that does, that'll support Anybody looking at this is basically going to understand what it is anyway. Um, so this will hold. He's got a dummy axle to go in here. And so we've slotted that piece of aluminum. This is a, how long was it? Two feet? Yeah, two feet piece of aluminum to start. Yep. Yeah, basically uh, it's eight inches. So if you bought a one foot piece, that's four inches. Right. Uh, slot the end so it'll clamp and stuff like that. Basically, this is all 80-20. Uh, 80-20. Um, so yep. this is actually 15-30 size, which means it's inch and a half by uh, three inches. Uh, these are 1515s, uh, the uprights. All of the other pieces in that stuff were all from uh, 8020 off eBay. Uh, got the clamp somewhere else? I don't remember. eBay. Five of them for 20 bucks from China. Yeah. So about the only thing we did here that uh, we machined the top of this off to make a V there for the tube to go in. And it... You could actually uh, you could actually hacksaw that off and file it down because the accuracy is in the the side walls of the V. Okay, uh, these don't actually need to be slotted. We just didn't think to measure and position these screws. I got ahead of things and uh, mounted that up, and then then we realized oh we could have just used a longer screw here longer too. Longer screw would have got us there. Uh, so everything's adjustable. Loosen those up. This will go up and down for the thing. Same thing over here. Those will get swapped out with Allen's. We just didn't have the right. Uh, length with us and it's amazing how how rigid everything is too considering uh the right angles are on here the angle brackets are on here just to make it stand on the uh the bench better this is for a frame jig frame mount a bike stand bike stand uh, so, you stand it up here, so we did we did have to uh drill and tap some holes in this uh, six hole plate but i don't think we'd have to because this is for a 50 50. Uh, yeah i think they make the stanchions here that will fit the 1530. 1530. Right, right. I, just, I have it around 50-50. I didn't even realize Yeah. That. So this piece was for 50-50, so the spacing uh, is yeah. off a little bit. But uh, uh, otherwise, so basically, other than uh, needing a hacksaw to cut the pieces, it could be done at home. Hacksaw without, on a drill. Yeah, hacksaw on a drill. And what do we use the drill for? Uh, if you're going to... Oh, for these things? For that thing, right. That's yeah, the only it, thing I can't, we can't figure out how to do without drilling. Um, and the way that's positioned, you could use through bolts yeah, and, and to tap it. Yeah, you could use through bolts to put it from the other side. Counter, 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 counter this. Yeah. Um, so anyway, uh, there's going to be another uh, four-hole plate on the back side here. And doing this again, this would be a four-hole plate, and this would get cut off. So then that way this piece could actually get taken off without having to move this. So uh, all in all, though... Uh, Pretty simple, nothing too precise about it. The precision's all built into the machined ends. Yep. You know, so like when this piece got cut, this is the hacksaw end, uh, the machined ends down here to help keep the accuracy. Uh, this is the machined end on the 1530 piece, you know, so that when that bolts up against it, it stays fairly accurate. So, uh, yeah, the only place you need precision is as long as things are, are squared this way, so you don't have your fork legs off. And right. then the other place you get precision is off the center of your tube here, running down to here, you can move this up and down and that gives you your offset, 45 millimeters pretty, millimeter, millimeters pretty common. Right. So you measure that. That's about the only place you need to be fairly accurate. Then it just kind of holds it all together while you, while you uh, braise it together. Yeah, and you should be able to uh, take a long enough piece of tubing clamped in here. Yep. Or even just slide this all the way down here and mark your middle. You know, and then mark your 45. Yep, exactly right. So, so uh, I'll probably eventually put scales on the side. Um, zero, zero them out for different things. You only got to mark it once. Right. 45 mil and you make a scratch. 45 yeah, mil. and you might actually... Uh, that was machined, but if some... You know, well, the accuracy is in the walls. I'd be curious if he clamped it here and ran a piece long enough, how much difference you that get, would be yeah. over taking the short piece and running it up right. here and mark it. Yeah, yeah, how much... Well, then it's about the tube itself is going to roll on that. The length over the tube, how... how? Yeah, I don't think it'll sag much or anything like that. Right. Uh, and at least the aluminum uh, or DOM steel would be uh, right. accurate enough. So, anyway, that ought to be uh, 
close enough. It took us uh, four hours. About four hours. Less than four. Yeah, two. It's two now. We got yeah. one up ten. And we talked and jugged for yeah. for three of it. <laughs>